Shut up and sit down. Sports fans, and welcome to another night of Hiller Volleyball. I'm Steve Sweet up along with Mike Tarosian and the Hopkinton Hillers welcoming in the Dedham Marauders tonight. Second game of the season. Hillers coming off a 3-0 win over Medfield on Wednesday night, and Dedham coming off a 3-1 win over Millis. Yeah, let's just uh, send it right down to uh, the AD, Rich Cormier, down on the floor. Down, Hopkinton Hillers. The Tri-Valley League in Hopkinton High School is committed to the highest ideals of sportsmanship and establishing a healthy environment for interscholastic competition. Please respect all decisions made by officials. Please respect fans, coaches, participants, and opponents. Thank you for helping to create a positive environment. Now please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Ready to get uh, game number two of the season underway. Yes. Yeah, thank you for uh, having me tonight. Uh, Tom couldn't make it, and uh, Tom Dings filled in the last minute in the director's chair, so I'm able to do a little color with you tonight. I appreciate that. I, was, I would have done it, but I'd much rather have someone is, to talk to than it myself. It is so hard to talk to yourself, although your answers are always right. Yep. <laughs> At least until I get home. Then they're corrected. Then they're corrected. Well, it's a, it's a beautiful night. It's a little chilly outside, but it's a gorgeous 72 degrees here inside the Athletic Center. And uh, this should be a great match tonight. Yep. Uh, Dedham, as we said at the beginning, coming off their first win in over a year. They first win, exactly. They were 0-15 in TVL and 0-19 overall last year. So starting out uh, the 2019 campaign with a victory is a great step forward for the program. Absolutely. Great way to start a season. So out there on the floor for the for girls in the front line, we have Angie, Kate, and Millie in the front. And in the back, we've got Kate, Rachel, and who's in the middle there? Is that Mel? It looks like Mel, I think. Yep. Oh, no. It's Bub. Well, it's Bub's Bub. in the middle. And Morgan checking in for <laughs> Kate now. <laughs> Dedham in the front row uh, has their uh, senior, Danielle Guilfoy, and you also have senior Megan Bondar. And number nine is the uh, senior, Lexi Melios. Serving for Dedham will be number 13, the freshman, Melanie Gonzalez. Let's see what kind of stuff she serves up. And that's out. The only freshman on the team, and uh, of course this year the Hill is with no freshman. Yep. We haven't had a freshman since uh, I think a little Cooper Rider or something, or no, oh, I Angie? think it, no. Oh, Who's the last uh, freshman? Um. Oh, uh, she was only here for one season. The family moved to Texas. Yes. Oh. Peyton. Peyton, Peyton. Weber. Yes. 
Absolutely right. And the only reason I, I, I mean, she was a great player as a freshman too, but the thing that st stood out is she had one, she's the only time I've ever seen it, she served 25 straight points. Right. Start to finish for a, right. a game. That was a huge game, man. I, I, was it you and I? I think Kurt did that game. I think so. Yep. I think I was in the director's chair saying, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> well, a little double paintbrush there on the back. And another one. A lot of unforced errors here yeah. so far for Dedham. Nice knuckleball from Angie. Yeah. Angie doing a nice mix it up, placing those uh, shots in different parts of the floor, making Dedham use their head. Nice free hit Angie there. Angie gets to that. Morgan, a little bump set. Nice put away. Well done from Millie. Tell her Millie's doing good, and I see a little bit more height uh, in her jumps. Six zero. Hiller's in front here in the first set. Another good serve from Angie. Little miss hit there by the libero, Christina. Skirty. Skirty. Yeah, Skirty. I'm gonna assume the H yeah, is silent. It is. Thank you. Thank you for your I research, I double too. Che I double-checked yes. that one. Oh, you did? I thought it was just the other one. And there's a nice ace. <laughs> and Coach Anderson is taking her first time out here just to calm the girls down. Yep, the average eight-point uh, timeout, much needed. I'm sure she uh, has a lot of things to say about Angie's serves that they need to work on. Yeah, Tom and I were commenting on Wednesday night, the fact that the girls, and both teams, Medfield too, for being the first game of the season, um, they weren't rusty, and the, and the girls are picking right up where they left off. So right, right. And I think it's because they played so many well, yeah, they, games. They do those three tournaments. or four yeah. tournament games from Friday to Sunday yeah. beforehand, and I tell you, they look good. I, I was able to do the uh, headshots in our little uh, uh, yep. news promo uh, with the team on the Wednesday before that. <laughs> And uh, so we stayed for a little bit of their practice, and oh my God, they looked fantastic. And that was only a couple practices in since the teams were put together. McDermott, Grabmeyer back to McDermott, blocked, kept alive. Nice recovery from Ashley. Oh. And that was Danielle Guilfoyle. Nice put away at the net. And a much, much needed side out. Lexi Malios back to serve. Allen settles under that. Angie, quick dump over. Oh, double. They call it a double. Now they got to replay the yeah, that inadvertent re whistle. Yeah, the floor ref uh, inadvertently blew the whistle. That was nice. It you know, normally, like like we always said, you could hear the double hits from up here. But uh, that definitely wasn't a double hit. No. And that's what I was afraid they were going to call. Angie wanted that one. Oh, that was a nice one. Nice little punch serve there. McDermott, Grabmeyer, back to McDermott, cross court. Free ball here. Morgan gets to that. Angie, set in the middle. That's a nice put away from Kate. Yeah, she found that open line. Just went for it. Yep. And do you like it, the new stripes? I like the white, although the white got uh, a little ivory look to it when the seal coating went in. It, yeah. That was a bright white. Oh, uh, was it? Before the seal coating. Something happened. But it does look nice. They did a nice job on this floor, except for all the orange. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the orange. Yeah. Nice cross-court swing. Good put away from Bub. Yeah, McDermott tried to get her hands on it, but 
slide it over the top. Millie back to serve. 10 to 1, Hiller's in front here in the first set. And that could be trouble. Nice save, but hit the net. Millie, back set, McDermott, cross court, good power from Ashley. Nice put away. Yeah, Bedola Reyes tried to get underneath it, but couldn't get her to go forward. Just shanked it back to Upton. That was a free hit. Oop, Kate, Angie, good set from Angie. Nice put away. Well placed by Bub. That was a real tough ball for Angie to get to. Yes, it was. Would have liked to have seen Kate just take that first hit and put the ball back. <laughs> but that's just some yeah. inexperience. She'll, she'll learn. Yeah, it didn't look like a lot of effort there that uh, Jesse there put on to shag that ball. It was like a little slow motion and Little love tap. Morgan, Angie, jump set. Nice put away. Caden Boyce putting on a nice little display here, three straight points. Just in case your sisters watch, I'll just give a yay, Boyce. <laughs> a little blast from the past. There you go, Cecily. Hope you enjoyed that one. Just leave a comment on the YouTube channel. And yeah, it's not going to make it over. Nope. 16 to 1. Got them looking a little soft out there with their hits. Yep. Yeah, they're just having trouble yeah. getting the first ball in play. Right. You know, returning the serve is what it's all about. And, you yep. know, that's what Grabmeyer works on with her girls is to make it difficult for them to hit back. And the harder it is for them to hit back, the higher the score is. Yep. Like, like that. Yep. It all starts with the bump. That's it. Morgan. Middle set. Nice put away, Kate. Beautiful, right on the line. Nice job, Kate. Yeah, the first two the first two games on Wednesday, Kate was very tentative in her hitting. She wasn't following through in the third set. She came alive, and she's just picked it up here. Sykes says, I wasn't present, but I did get to watch it in editing. <laughs> it was very nice. Uh, nice mix-up on the serves there. There you go, a little miscommunication on the floor between uh, Benilla Reyes and Gonzalez. Both went for the ball at the same time, not talking. Another free ball. Morgan, Hanchi, back set. McDermott reaches for it. Well done. Adam's not even double teaming at the net. It's right. just a it's just a one on one, so the girls have most of the floor to look at. Morgan, Angie. Boyce. Wow. That hit looked familiar. It did. A lot of authority on that one. Twenty one to one. Nice block. Well done, Kate. First roof of the night. Love that sound coming through the headphones. <laughs> yeah. Double.
We only had two servers here. That's it. Yeah, Angie. Angie and Mount Minnelli. Angie and Billy. That's it. Because uh, Dedham served first, and right. we got the point right away. And Angie took over for the first, what, 12? Uh, nine, I think. Nine, yeah. So let's see if Billy finishes this out. Set point. Boys. Oh, kept alive. Oh. Yeah, nice handle. try from Dedham. Hopkinton takes the first set 25 to 1. Girls are going to switch sides, and we'll be right back. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. And we're back for set number two. As Hopkinton's taking on Dedham. Hopkinton won the first set 25 to one. Fairly fast moving first set, wouldn't you say, Mike? Yeah, that went really quick. I mean, you know, Hopkinton with the two servers and uh, Dedham unable to really set up any kind of offense yeah. off the serves, yep. which tells you, you know, Hopkins doing a good job with the serving, but is it because of Dedham's inability to return a serve? I don't know. A little bit of both. A little both. What do we have for stats? Well, it was nice. Caitlin came running up in, uh, in the kill department. Uh, Caden uh, led with four, and Ashley and Millie both had two. Uh, Angie, uh, nine assists with uh, Morgan with one. And in the dig department, Morgan, five digs, Angie with one, and Ashley with one. And out there on the floor right now in the front, we have uh, Mel Gilday, Kate, and Angie. And in the back, we've got Rachel, Morgan, and Hannah. It's nice that we get to see the mix. I love I love the beginning of the season, you know. When you yep. get to see him mix up the uh, lines a little bit. Nice serve from Rachel. Oh, that's an ace. What a way to start it. Yeah, she was serving great on Wednesday night. So I just heard from uh, Tom Nappy, who finished with the field hockey. Uh, the Hills, uh, Hills also played Dedham, and they wound up in a 0-0 tie, which uh, now brings Hopkins up to... One, zero, and one. Another good serve from Rachel. Hard and deep. Yeah, this game's going to go quick if they can't return a serve. You know, they got to be able to return a serve, set up some kind of offense. Uh, and, you know, the especially if they want to uh, score. It looks like the only scores that Dedham's going to get is from mistakes from uh, the Hillers at this rate. Just tapped it That net. was, yeah. Yeah, that was tough. That, that was not much you could do with that. That was tough. And, uh, I thought that was going to be the curse of the announcer. Yeah, Benilla, yeah. Benilla Reyes just couldn't return it. But it doesn't look like they're giving too much effort going on the ball. And there's a big space, too, in the, yeah. that back line. I mean, they're, they're real deep. Real deep. Very deep. Another good serve from Rachel. Oh. A do over. Do over. Hit the basket. Maybe we could get Andy down there to show the Hiller bench, uh, the coaching staff down there. Tim Pacific just showed up, so we have... Uh, Tim Pacific and Emma Sweet Apple, Mary Bransfield, and of course Margie Grabmeyer. The retiring Mary Bransfield. Yeah, well, I didn't want to mention that. I hate saying that. Just out. Mary and Peter started this broadcast 14 seasons ago. It went from one camera with a couple cassette tapes all the way to a crew of eight <laughs> in, a, in a portable studio. 
There you go. This is like the first rally of the night. I was going to say, we have a rally. And it's over. <laughs> Rachel, Angie gets to that. Nice play from Mel. Eight zero. Little tip over. Hannah gets to that. Rachel back set to Angie. Good placement from Angie. 9 0. You know, I'm just hoping Rachel is just placing it just so they can get it to play. You know, they, yeah. they don't want to sit out. They, you know, everyone likes to say they want to go home early, but they also want to play. Morgan, Rachel, short set to Kate. Nice dig. That I'm keeping it alive. Rachel outside. Nice tip. Anna gets to that. Rachel. Angie. Nice put away from Grabmeyer. Yeah, she saw that back going and she went for it. Yep. Yeah, and 10 point timeout. Yep. Coach Anderson calling a timeout. So earlier today, JV won. Beat uh, Dedham 2-0 and JV2 team also won 2-0. Right. right. And, of course, uh, for the next month or so, we're not going to have any other scores to announce because all the outdoor sports have been canceled at sunset. Yep. We have uh, we football. Football uh, was played at 4 o'clock today in uh, at all, uh, here, but uh, against Oliver Ames. That was just a scrimmage. Their first uh, season game is a non-league game in Wayland next week. Right. And that will either be Friday afternoon or Saturday morning. We don't know yet. They're still working the schedules. But the Triple E, uh, we just had the Board of Health in our studio today. Two more cases in our area of Triple E. Oh, really? And we will be going up to critical uh, pretty soon. Like all our surrounding communities. Nothing to mess with. Just out. Yes. So side out for the Marauders. Vanilla Rays with the eyes on that one. Just let that one go. Melanie Gonzalez going back to serve, a freshman. The lone freshman. <coughs> and side out to the Hillers. Sam Berenson checking in. You know, you look at the, the Dedham team, too, which is, for what you what we're witnessing today, they are a senior-heavy team with one freshman and two juniors. Right. No sophomores. Cassie White also checking in. Sam serving. Nice deep serve from Sam. Sam Berenson has a very nice approach to that line when she serves. She has a little twist at the end. Starts off on an angle. And it gives a little twist right there. Morgan, Rachel, nice dump over. Another ace. It looks like we're going to see a sub on for Dedham if it ever changes sides. Oh, they just they just can't get that 
the first hit oh. to the setter. Sam changing angles a little bit. Mm -hmm. Good serve. Sam gets to that. Grab Meyer. Oh, Angie, great, great placement. Perfect. Not a lot of power. Nope. She just tapped it, went for the spot. She knew right where she was going. Good job, Angie. Allie Flag checking in. 16 to 1. Hillers took the first set 25 to 1. A shallow serve. Sam, Rachel, outside. Cassie, nice put away. Cassie White getting on the scoreboard. And Coach Grabmeyer once again employing a 6 2 here. Well, there's two setters on the floor, which when Angie's up front, can she's an outside hitter. But the backup setter if needed. Another good swing from Cassie. And yeah, nice put away at the net there from Guilfoyle. A very nice side out. Well needed side out for the Marauders. Lexi Malios back to serve. Nice short set for Kate. Nice, nicely done. Yeah, Bondar, uh, <laughs> she, she looked like, oh, I'm surprised I got a hand on it. And you see, too, the difference between the serving, the Dedham does not have the running serve. They have the planted foot serve. Yep. And so I'm assuming if you practice with that, you're not going to see this running serve. How do you handle it if right. you're not used to it? And I think that's one of their biggest problems that I'm seeing right now. And a little twist of the uh, the ankle on uh, Kate Powers. She stopped a little funny there. She's uh, yeah, she's saying she's okay. Yeah, she's good. A little stinger. Another good serve from Morgan. Yeah, coming at the face of uh, Farnham. Well, not Farnham. Uh, that was Flag, and she went straight ahead, and that. Goes either straight or down. And there's a miss hit, and she took it to the chin. And no blood showing, so she gets to stay on the court. Little blood you have to get off. Although the parents are thinking about the orthodontic work yeah. they just uh, took off her teeth last year. Nice swing. That was Guilfoyle. Yep. Nice put away. Side out. Dead him. And you notice that only went through a single block, not a double. Yeah. Bondar back to serve. Nice Morgan. Lob. Rachel outside. Good swing from Cassie. Oh, side out Hopkinton. Yeah. The cover tried to bump it over, but it just rolled in her arms. Mirabella Pellucci checking in. Grabmeyer back to serve. Others need two points here to close out the second set. Back row hit. Sam gets to that. Back set. Pellucci kept alive. Double hit. Double hit. Yep. Okay, here we are, set point.
Well, soft served, and that's it. Hillers take the second set, 25 to 3. Girls are going to switch sides, and we'll be right back. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be a camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. And we're back for set number three as Hopkinton takes on Dedham here in the field house. Hopkinton took the first set 25 to one and they also took the second set 25 to three. As noted by cameraman John Ritz, uh, Dedham tripled their score. And with that, <laughs> Jamie uh, came up with the, uh, the stats for uh, the second set and leading in the kill department was Angie with three. And one's a wild with Rachel, Cassie, and Kate. Uh, Diggs, all ones for Morgan, Hannah, Rachel, and Sam. And in the assist, Rachel led with five, with uh, Morgan bleeding behind with one. And uh, the girls are probably going to appreciate this match tomorrow because uh, if this gets over quick and gets done early, because they've... They play the Lincoln Sudbury tournament tomorrow. tomorrow so right. they're yes. playing they've got games against Wayland, Hopedale, Concord Carlisle, Lincoln Sudbury, Lee, Belmont, Milford, and Tewksbury. Oh, that's a nice old mix. So they uh they've got quite a busy day tomorrow. Yep, there's a few division one teams in there. Yep. I like yep. it. Some division one, some division two, and one division three. That Hopedale three? Oh what no, two of yeah, uh, Lee. Lee. So out there at the front, we've got Boyce Grabmeyer and is that Millie? Yeah. Yeah. In the front, and then we've got Pucci, Rachel, uh, yeah, and Cassie. Oh, Cassie was in the back. That's Cassie. Yeah. Used to seeing her up front. Side out, Hillers. I oh, should go up front now. Must have been a rotation thing. Nice hit there. Morgan gets to that. Grabmeyer in the middle. Nice running set. Boyce, Grabmeyer, back set. Pellucci, put away. Yeah, right to the feet of the libero. And... Uh, yeah, so I think that's all we're going to see for the third set. I, I don't see any surprises. But I think that's going to change my mind. Grabmeyer pushes it outside. Just Ooh. outside for yep. Cassie. Yep. A little long. Sam Berenson checking in. Bub departs. Lexi Malios serving for the Marauders. Two to one. Cassie gets to that. Angie back to Cassie. Little dump over. Nice. Kate checking in. Nice. Dying quail there from Morgan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A nice swing from Guilfoyle. Kate was there. Just yeah, Kate was there. Again, a single block, they can yep. make it through. Double block, I know they can't beat. Three to two. Bondar serving. Allen settles under that. Outside, Cassie. Go uh, so long.
Well, we're taking a moment to acknowledge our crew tonight. Down on the floor, great camera work by Team Ritz, Andy and John. Up here in the crow's nest, giving you this view right here. Mary Arnott. Running the graphics, keeping the score, keeping us straight is uh, Bob Hamilton. And throwing all the switches is uh, Tom Diggs. Side out Hillers. And my favorite, I got a call because Peter Bransfield's watching. Uh, nice paintbrush there by uh, number six, Alley Flag. Alley Flag. Rachel serving. Rachel that has that primitive smile on her face all the time. Yep. Gets bigger with an ace. Yes, it does. There's a free ball for Angie. Took it well. Oh, she got the net. Yeah, net violation. Bill Foyle serving. Angie, Lorette. Yeah, th that Thank was going to be a tough one to put away. A little too much on that. Yeah, the set had a lot of spin. 5-5, five, five, the closest it's been all day. Side out, Hillers. Hannah Quinlan checking in. She'll go back to serve. Caden Boyce checking in. Off the net, very tough. Good recovery. Morgan hits the floor. Lorette outside. And Caden hits that into the net. They're tied up at six. We got us a game here, Mike. Yes, we do. Christina Skirta back to serve. Nice dig from the libero oh. and double hit. Side yeah. out, Hillers. Yeah, that was a tough one. She was definitely off balance, backpedaling. A for effort. Angie, Rachel outside, Boyce. Yeah, it's not playable. Now there's a bub point. Rachel, Angie, down the line. Nice dig. That's out. Nope, on the line. Oh! Holy cow. Thought that was going. Morgan checking back in. Did him not give it up, which is great. It's great to see that they don't give up. Flag back to serve. Morgan, Rachel dump over, nice. Found a big hole there. Side out, Hillers. Pellucci checking in. Grab Meyer to serve. Two point lead for Hillers here in the third set. Hopkinton won the first two. Lucci, Grabmeyer, outside, Boyce. Yeah. 
Yeah, never came over. Four hits? Yeah. Nice serve from Grabmar. Yeah. Another ace. Hillers with a five point lead here. Third set. And there's another ace. There's no movement on the Not back line. Nothing whatsoever. Yeah, they, they're all flat footed. Yep. They're all, they should be on their toes. They're all flat footed. Morgan, Angie, back set. Good swing from Pellucci. Outside, Boyce, down the line. That was more of a defensive play by Reyes. Yeah, that was, it's coming at my head. Hillers extending their lead to seven. Uh, a little close to the net. Good, good body control there from. Was that Mirabella? Yep. No, it was Billy. Billy. Yep. And it was Billy, Billy with the block. Fifteen seven. Another ace. It's just a huge opening between the front and the sure back is. line there. You're right. Angie's exploiting it. Not over the net. That one, that that's one, four. Net, yep. That's the fourth. Ten point lead for the Hillers. Nice little dink over. Yep, the yep, little tap over from Pellucci. I think Angie, Angie just wants to put this away and go home. Get ready for the tournament. Nice bump set. Boys put away. Good placement. Oh. You know, watching, I've been trying to pay attention to the, the uh, Dedham defense move, and it seems like they, they don't move until the ball is hit. You know, they're not anticipating anything. They're just waiting there for it until it gets hit, and then they're reacting. And there's no way you can beat a Hill a team like that, or any team. Nice, put away. Good swing from Millie. Twenty to seven. Hiller's next game is uh, at home against Westwood next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, right? Six thirty. Ace again. I won't be here next Wednesday. Hopefully, my fine crew will be here. Tom won't be here. Oh boy, we could have trouble. As long as Bob Hamilton's here, we're all set. We can do everything as long as Bob's here. Bob's running away. <laughs> Bob just left. Here, Bob has left the building. <laughs> Side out, dead him. Love their effort. They don't want to give up. Gonzalez checking in, and she'll go back to serve. <laughs> mm. 
Malios wave it to her JV team over there on the sidelines. Who's been supporting them the whole way here tonight. That was a very good swing from Mirabella. The set from Angie had a lot of spin on it and yep. had a, took a good swing. And Guilford was lucky to get a fist on that. Yep. Barron's in. She'll go back to serve. And White checking in as well. Hiller's two points away from closing this out. I can't remember the last time we had a game under an hour. Yeah. Well, a long time. Good serve from Sam. Morgan, Angie. Sam, Angie. Back set, good recovery from Mirabella. She started down the line and then had a shift further outside. Yep. And here we are, match point. Service error. Ouch. Ouch. Sam was going for an ace there. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, it, it, you take, you know, you see a lot of teams that aren't so good. You see, you see it going to the net. But when you see a team like Hopkins doing it, it's because they're trying to just touch the net. Right. And to uh, give a little misdirection on the ball. Gonzalez thumps that over. Allen's there. Grabmeyer, the middle. Millie again. And that's it. Hopkinton takes the third set, 25 to 9, for a 3 0 win over Dedham. Girls' uh, next home game, Wednesday. Westwood comes to town Westwood. at 6 30. Not a bad game, Mike. No, not a bad game. Quick game. Yep. Quick game. Now I gotta find something to do for the next hour. Right. <laughs> I gotta head to a surprise party, so. You have for, plenty of time. For Mike Terosian, this is Steve Swidapple and the rest of the HCAM crew, and we'll see you at the next game.